Rock of Ages is all about one's necessity to dream. Throughout the entire show, people flock to the bourbon room to try to fulfill each and every one of their most intimate dreams. Drew becoming a rock star, Sherry moving as far away from home as she possibly can, and other characters trying to meet whatever it is that is on their mind. And the purpose of the show is to connect with an audience member's need to dream and showing that it may not be the same dream you walked in with, but at least you fulfilled something at the end of your day. This show is about the 80s. And remembering the 80s and having lived through the 80s, I can tell you this brings back amazing memories from being from the 80s. It's also about finding the thing that you love to do the best. If that is uh, be a rampant capitalist, you could be that in the show. <laughs> or if you want to be a rock star, you could be that in the show. There's a lot of things and you can find your place in Rock of Ages, the show. Rock of Ages is about a bunch of characters just following their dreams and sticking to their passions as they as they carry on to the story. And some of these passions are are very noble causes where you, you push through and you want to see these people succeed. But some of these people's passions are kind of suck. <laughs> and uh, and then you get to watch them kind of like taper off and fall. So uh, this show is just filled with passion. Can't wait for you to watch. I'm playing the character Drew, AKA Wolfgang von Colt. And he's a bit of a lost boy trying to find his way in this crazy era, in this crazy world, and trying to figure out what is really important to him. And there's kind of this duality in him being kind of two personas that Wolfgang von Colton had drew and whether he wants the fame or uh, just a life of love and what's more important in the long run. And so it's actually been super interesting because I am getting the chance to learn a lot from this character and he's also on this search to find confidence. His, uh, his character Wolfgang von Colt is this egoic creation of his where he can feel like the person he wants to be, but when he has to be Drew, he doesn't feel comfortable in his skin and it's this journey of him kind of fusing the two and uh, you know, finding what he really wants in life. Drew spends his entire life thinking that he's not worthy of love. So he creates this persona to be the person that he wishes that he was. And then when he finally meets Sherry and somebody sees him and loves him for who he actually is, his entire world changed. Sherry is bubbly and optimistic and she starts the show really naive, really trusting. Um, she wants to be an actress and that's what she comes to LA to do. She kind of just wants to leave her small town and pursue something bigger, be something bigger. Um, literally right upon arriving there she meets Drew and I think that that completely changes her perspective for the rest of the show. Come at act two after you know things have unfolded and she still has to try and learn how to be herself but a stronger version of herself. So there's this through line throughout the entire show of her just trying to keep hope, I guess, and trying to maintain her positivity and her optimism while still trying to survive, I guess. Chris Charlier is a strong, independent woman. She came up in the 70s. She did backup for uh, Donna Summer, big record. She thought she was gonna make it big. She was in love and then she decided to go for her dream that didn't end up coming to fruition the way she hoped. However, she knew what she wanted and she became a business owner in the 70s, which by the way, was difficult to do because women back then couldn't even get credit. So holla to Justice Charlier. She becomes a mama figure, figure to all of the cast, especially to Sherry. Um, and life is good. Justice Charlier, get it girl. Lonnie is the narrator of the show or the dramatic conjurer. Um, he is just floating through the show, not really connecting with any of the characters, except for one. But <laughs> um, he really is just there to move the show forward and also be comedic relief, which is fun. This process has been a great reintroduction to theater for me um, and a great reminder of why I love doing theater. We're new to Colorado. This is my first Colorado show um, ever. <laughs> We've been here for a little under a year. 
the process has been awesome. Just getting to meet new people. Mm -hmm. Cindy, we've become really close. Yep. Cass has become super close. Yeah, and just joining the FPC family has been amazing. Um, and bonding with being in our first show in a while. It's been awesome. Yeah, so, singing karaoke after yeah. rehearsals <laughs> together. It's been a good time. The process has been great. I have um, really had to push myself a lot throughout this, and I felt like I've been very uh, supportive and encouraged to do so. Um, this is not something that I've been familiar with, like musicals and campy shows, I guess. Um, and I really felt like it's come together and I love the energy that's coming from everybody to kind of make something that hasn't existed before. I think this is really special. People should come see Rock of Ages because we've had so much fun making it and there's lots of 80s flair. And it's super funny and very interactive and you'll be up on your feet dancing along. You should come see Rock of Ages because you are going to laugh so hard that you pee yourself and you are definitely going to want to get out of your seat and dance. People should come see the show because there's a live rock band on stage for this show, which how many musicals have a live rock band on stage? There's going to be myself, um, a live drummer, two guitarists, and a bassist, um, and we will be fully in costume, we're going to be rocking, it's going to be a great time. So even if you're not a huge musical person, if you like watching rock bands, come watch us, we'll be on stage performing live. Honestly, it's really a phenomenal musical. It's something that's so memorable, unforgettable, and also the classics of the 80s. It's just mind-blowing, and I think everybody is going to have a great time. They're going to be jumping up out of their seats, and they're just going to go crazy, you know? It's, like, it's awesome, and it's really unforgettable, and honestly, I give a big shout-out to my cast because they're such amazing, loving people, and we're like a family, really, and we take care of each other, and hopefully we have a great time performing, and I hope everybody has a great time as well. You should check out Rock of Ages January 19th through the 21st at the Parker Performing Arts School. Tickets and more information at frontrangetheatercompany.org.